As you can see on my screen, there's tons of different elements that can be created using the HTML and CSS viewer for Power BI. Of course, everything we see on the screen is fully dynamic. So when I change the slicer, all the elements change. I can change colors. I can basically change any element of all the, the visuals we have on the screen. Today, I'm going to show you how to build something similar, but we start easy. So I'm going to show you how to create um, smiley faces and dynamically change the color. It all starts in PowerPoint. So here I have a brand new and empty PowerPoint file and I'm just going to insert some icons. If I search for face, then we get, um, let's get a happy face. So we have the happy face here. That will be one of our faces. And let's get a second one. And uh, let's take this one. Maybe not so happy face. So we want to get the code of these two faces and then um, copy paste it into Power BI and make it dynamic using DAX. Because we want to change the color, let's first also give it some color. So actually in PowerPoint, and I'm not a PowerPoint expert, but I guess that I can say this should be, um, not even sure if I can fill. Oh, there's no fill, okay. So let's just add a circle. Let's see that this has roughly the same size, so we can put it on top of each other. Very good. If we put this to the back, we have that one in blue. And then we add a second one. And let's make this, um, I don't know, orange. Good. Okay, take it to the back. So now I can say right click save as picture and then I want to save this as an SVG so and this is our happy smile and the second one is I don't know what we call it we call it not so happy also save it as an SVG and then when I head over to the location where I just saved it, you can see that actually when I open it, this opens in my browser. And then I right click, view page source, and then I get some code. And that's the code which is needed to render this image. So when I copy this code, and then I open up a notepad file and paste in the code because what I have to do is I have to get rid of all the double quotes. Well, not get rid, but replace the double quotes with single quotes. So control A to select all, control H for find and replace, replace double quotes with single quotes. And now this is the code we can use in Power BI. So when I go back to my, well, this is my empty report, um, let's add a table just so I can add the measure and then add the measure and I think that was the, the smiley face so we call it smiley or happy face I called it start with a double quote um, paste in the code and end with a double quote again let's do the same thing for the not so happy face open the file right click view page source copy the code, go into notepad, paste it in, control A to select all, control H for find and replace, replace double quotes with single quotes, replace all, copy it, go back to Power BI, create a new measure, call it whatever you like, not so happy face, double quote, paste. So we have our two base measures. Now, in order to be able to display those, we need to get a visual from App Source. So we select Get More Visuals, and then we can simply search for K-Team, 
and this is the visual that we want. We want to have the HTML and CSS viewer. So we import that. I also highly recommend to download the sample report, which contains a lot of elements um, to help you get started with the visual. But today we just want to get the visual itself. So add it. And then I just add the visual to the report. And let's see. So the happy face is here. And what about the not so happy face? The not so happy face is also there. So what we can do now is because we added colors and somewhere in this code, we have the color. So let's search for a hex code. Um, we probably have it here. So this is the fill color. So I could also say, you know, it should be red. Then it becomes red or I make it blue then it becomes blue so let's just add a slicer so let's add again um, a slicer and this is let's call it color red green so we can dynamically change it so let's say we want to get another measure. We don't need, even need a measure. Let's add a variable up here. In the happy face, we said we have a variable, which is um, the color, which should be the selected value from the color table. And then we can paste this in here. Okay, so we can say you should be our color. I haven't selected anything, right? So maybe in the select value, we say, you know, if nothing is selected, make it um, gray. And then we can use a slicer from our color table. Like maybe let's turn this into buttons and make them single select. And now we can switch between green and red. But maybe also we want to actually change not only the color, but the smile, the face itself. So um, let's add a new table. This would be, let's call it condition. I don't know, we call it happy and not so happy. This is the condition table. This one is actually the color table. And also, let's get rid of this slicer header. Uh, we can just copy the slicer, but add the condition this time. So, of course, this doesn't have any impact yet. So, maybe let's see how we could do this. Maybe we want to see um, the dynamic face, which is Let's use a simple if statement. So we say if selected value from the condition is from the condition table condition um, is happy, then we want to show the happy face. If not, we show the not so happy face. Okay. Get rid of these two, or let's get rid of one, and replace this measure with the dynamic face. And then we have a not so happy, happy, and of course with the happy we can also change the color. So, and you can already see that we can change colors, um, the overall look and feel. So that should just help you to you know inspire you to see that there is now with this visual more or less unlimited possibility so again i would highly recommend that you go ahead to the app store to app source click on the visual and download the sample report which contains a lot more elements i mean we saw it before a lot more elements um, to get you started 
take it as a starting point and as always if there's any questions or you need help to creating a very specific element we are always happy to help so feel free to to reach out and get in touch and we'll help you out getting started with the visual thank you very much Thank you.